Hello, my name is Takao Mori, and in our laboratory, we work on developing novel thermoelectric materials. Thermoelectric materials use the Zeebeck effect to directly convert heat to electricity. And to obtain a high performance thermoelectric material, we have to have a high degree of control over electrical conductivity and thermal conductivity. And there's some paradox involved, and to overcome these paradox, we try to utilize chemistry, physics, material science, and for example, nanostructuring, and also implementing novel methods that we discovered, such as utilizing magnetism to control the thermoelectric properties, utilizing defects to enhance the properties. And by doing this, we are developing high-performance materials, which we hope will be useful for mankind. Because out of the fossil fuels that mankind consume, we only effectively utilize one-third of the energy, and two-thirds is lost, mostly in the form of waste heat. So directly converting this waste heat to electricity can have a huge benefit to solving the energy problems of the world. And I hope you can join us. Uh, thank you. This is the thermoelectric properties measurement apparatus. It allows the user to determine the Seebeck coefficient and the electrical resistivity of the thermoelectric sample from room temperature to 700 degrees Celsius. To load the sample, bulk or thin film, we first open the chamber by pulling back the infrared furnace and moving the stage's nickel cover to the side. Then, we set the sample on the stage between the electrodes. We lock the sample and set the thermocouple on the surfaces. We return the nickel cover as well as the furnace thermocouple to their original positions before closing the chamber. The chamber is then put under a vacuum condition with slight helium under pressure for thermal transport. Hi, I am Cédric Borges. I am from France and I am a postdoctoral researcher fellow in the NIMS Institute in the group of Takeo Mori in Thermal Energy Material Groups. And I work on thermoelectric bulk materials and also a bit on thin films. And I mainly focus on the improvement of the efficiency for the room temperature to the medium temperature range. I use uh, various uh, instruments of characterization, like such as present in this room. And I hope to see you one day in this laboratory. Thank you very much. After loading the sample in the sample chamber, we input the sample information in the computer software. First, we input the base temperature and the temperature gradient, DT, for the measuring sample. Next, the sample name and dimensions are registered. Finally, we check the input parameters in the resume window and start the program. Hello, I'm Yanan. I'm coming from China. I'm a PhD student now and belong to University of Tsukuba. Now I'm mainly doing my research in NIMS in Professor Takamori group and my topic is about uh, flexible thermoelectric materials and welcome to join us. Thank you very much. This apparatus is used for measuring the power generating efficiency of thermoelectric devices. A given thermoelectric device is placed between the heating block and the cooling block. Using the thermal interface material to maintain the hot side and cold side temperatures, respectively. A copper block is used as the heat flow meter on the cold side to measure the output heat flux. The electrical output power can be measured by applying the temperature difference across the thermoelectric device. The conversion efficiency of the thermoelectric device can be evaluated from the measured electrical output power and output heat flux. All of the operating conditions, such as temperature stability, automatic variation of the load on the thermoelectric generator module, and automatic control of the measurement temperature are configured in the software settings. Hello, I'm Raju Chetty. I'm coming from India. So I'm working in Professor Takao Mori lab as a postdoctoral researcher. And my research topic is uh, development of high performance room temperature thermoelectric materials and devices. Thank you. A thermoreflectance apparatus can measure the thermal conductivity of thin films. The thermoreflectance method is classified as a pulse light heating method. The temperature change after pulse heating is observed to determine thermal conductivity. This thermoreflectance method utilizes the temperature dependence of reflectance. In the apparatus, two ultra-short pulse lasers, 
one for pumping and the other for probing, are controlled electrically. The temperature change in short time scale, nanoseconds or picoseconds, can be observed by detecting the probe beam reflected from the sample surface. Finally, the sample's thermal conductivity is determined by analyzing the temperature change. Hello, I'm Takahiro Baba, one-year PhD student in Tsukuba University. I'm mainly studying the thermal conductivity measurement of the thin film in Professor Mori's laboratory. So I'm one of the few Japanese students in our lab, so I'm enjoying our international atmosphere very much, so I'm looking forward to see you in our lab. Thank you very much. We are a very international and active laboratory with many cooperations throughout the world and we hope to welcome you here. Please Please